Let's see how to use principle of superposition in structural analysis. If a structure behaves in a linearly elastic manner, the force or displacement at a particular point produced by a set of loads acting simultaneously can be evaluated by adding or superimposing the forces or displacements at the particular point produced by each load of the set acting individually. Let's see an example how to apply the principle to calculate support reactions. Two concentrated loads of 3 kN are applied 5 meter apart on a beam. As the loads and supports both are symmetrical, remember the reaction at the pin and the roller are vertical only when there are no inclined or horizontal forces. The support reactions also need to be symmetrical, which means both reactions are 3 kN. Now, instead of applying both forces at the same time, we intend to apply one force at a time, then calculate both reactions and sum the respective reactions. The resulting reaction should be the same as before. So, first remove the right hand side load of 3 kN and calculate the resulting reactions. Calculation of reaction will give reaction at left as 2 kN and at right as 1 kN. Now remove the left hand side load and put the other 3 kN load. Then calculate the reactions. This time the reaction on left will be 1 kN and on the right support will be 2 kN. To find the combined effect of both loads, add the reactions from both cases, this one plus this one for left support and this one plus this one for the right support. This will give us both the reaction are 3 kN, that is 2 plus 1 kN for left and 1 plus 2 kN for right. Let's see an example for displacement. We want to calculate displacement at three points A, B and C due to the loads acting at A and C which are PA and PC respectively. First, we can apply only one load PA at point A and calculate the displacement at A, B and C as delta AA, delta BA and delta CA. Then we apply the load PC at C and calculate displacements which are delta AC at A, delta BC at B and delta CC at C. Now the effective displacement at point A, B and C can be calculating summing this displacement at the respective positions due to loads calculated separately. So the resulting displacement that is delta AC due to combined load PA and PC should be the summation of this displacement which is due to load PA only and this displacement which is due to load PC only. So if you add these two we should get delta AC. Similarly delta BAC and delta CAC can be calculated using the principle of superposition that is adding this displacement and this displacement to calculate delta BAC and this displacement plus this plus displacement to calculate delta CAC. Total displacement or internal loading at a point in a structure subjected to several external loadings can be determined by adding together the displacements or internal loadings caused by each of the external loads acting separately. The principle of superposition simplifies the calculation process when there are multiple loads and different types of loads.